starting from 15th place today, which will be interesting. A bit better than I thought it would get based on practice, to be honest. So I'll take that. Uh, let's boost up the fuel, obviously. Um, I'm debating changing the anti-roll bar, but I'm not going to. I'm going to send it over to the, uh, the, uh, the team here. Yeah, it'll give you your grid spot. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you get a legal lap in qualifying? <sighs> we'll go with it. All right, uh, 32 degree track temp. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, but it'll get colder during the during the race, anyways. We probably probably will finish up around 28, 29. All right. I've of course been talking to nobody because Discord's been muted. But here we go. All right, Burke. All you have to do is let me through. Counting on it. Oh shit! I forgot to hit. Or your, drive your on that computer. Hopefully Martin's been recording. Turn one after all. Oh no, he's behind me. Here we go. Doesn't mean anything. Forty minutes. Too late to okay, do it Michael, now. Be ready. He did dive on the inside of me. So all right, sorry. Drop the uh, ECU. Oh yeah, I forgot I was no widget. Zach Martin did surprisingly poorly in qualifying after doing quite well I'm in practice. Bucks. So, dude, I'm in miles an hour. Go, go, go! Right side. Badly timed break. Clear right. I was creeping up on Tobin a little too quickly. Alright, here we go. Car right. Hold your line. Oh, one of the shadow plays got me in the ass. Oh Hold no. Your line. I can feel it! Hold Taylor your line. spins out. Clear right. On your right. Oh, come on. Hold your line. You're in the middle. Three wide. Oh shit! Uh, Tiny bit of aero damage. Just ignore it. Higgs is now leading. Get out of here! Out! 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 Okay. Well, this is a problem. That's a bad rejoin. Bad damage. I can feel it too. And stupid, s the stupid steam overlay came up. Ugh. This is terrible. Alright, Northrup, Tom Waz, Ruben C and CO got caught up in it as well. So it was not just me, but I got collected twice by Tango Aston Martins. The first one was not his fault. He was spinning out. That's you know, that is what it is. But that second one, that one's got me. That one's got my dander up a little bit. We'll see. Keep an eye on the tires. We'll probably go with an early pit stop. We'll see how what the lap pace is like. If I can do 43s with the damage, it's not a huge problem. But if I'm down in like the 45s is like a little bit of the gray area, or 44s is a gray area. 45s is, yeah, we're pitting as soon as possible. Uh, You're running last. And then Larry. The irony is probably the, the least of the contacts, which was with Larry, 
is the one that damaged the car. It was right there that I felt the rumble from the rear of the car. The, uh, the damage kicking in. It's not too bad right now. So it's going to depend on the lap times. If we go with a pit stop or not. Tom Waz in the Porsche sliding back. Tom's got to take advantage more of these uh, these opening rounds that are very Porsche friendly. Good to have him back on the grid, though. Right side, clear all round. Boy, I wasn't really thinking of overtaking there. Well done, Michael. Great but move. he ended up, up really offline. I also forgot to fill, fill up my water, so things have gotten very bad. Jake Northrup next on my list. Ruben Ciencio is going very slowly, so I think he's carrying a fair amount of damage. He was pretty on the pace in qualifying and in practice. So, I suspect damage on the blue Aston. I right suspect this will be a bad lap because I had to do the overtake. Hold your line. Clear right. Yep, 45-4. We need to go faster than that. Yellow flag. Watch need out. at least a second. If not more. Seth Cheney's off. That's another spot. But it's an AM spot. Still dead last in silvers. Tires are a little over cooking. Someone just vanished. Not sure who that was. Hear that or I'm seeing things. Both are possible. Northrup ahead of me and okay, Cliff Hemian on the car in front. The gap's now making his debut five. in the Bennett in the Bentley, and then Guillermo Taylor, who's probably carrying a fair amount of damage. That's a new fastest lap for and Skyler Caster in the Astons. Need faster, need faster. Part of the pace issue is the damage, but part of it is also the tires being a bit too pressurized right now. I'm also caught in a lot of traffic here, which is going to make this even harder. Tires should be at a more like a 27.3 to 27.7 is usually is, is the sweet spot. Or is it 20? It might be 27.8. I always aim. I aim for 27.5. It's just an easy to remember figure. So to be at 28 and 27.9 is, regardless of what the actual number is, is a little too high. Skylar Caster is a slower driver up there. Northrup is a rival, I think actually the silver leader coming out of Laguna Seca, although it is a little bit hard because we do have that scratch score in effect because of the advance of Laguna Seca. Don't you dare. Looking at okay, Ruben Michael, and Sia behind me who has either figured something out to bring his pace up Or it was just a it was just a tire thing that was causing him to go slow. The car in front of us is Caster. Or it could be the fact that I'm eight tenths off right now because I'm being held up by Caster. I assume it's Caster that's really holding me up. I I, I, I assume oh, one of the one of the angry right. pandas is up ahead. Still there. Clear right. That's Dave Brock. As I 
No offense, but I get a little bit bold getting around Caster. B26. Track temperature has not gone down yet. Yellow flag, caution. I'm kind of hoping it does. That's Larry Foster turned around. This is going to be interesting. We get to see we actually get to see Dave Brock right. fighting a little bit. Hold your line. You usually see him under blue flags, but he did a good job. Still there. Clear right. I was going to say hopefully he hopefully he could see the uh, the position here. Cuz if he tried to go side by side okay, in that Michael, sweeper, we'll I think bad things would have happened. 24 minutes into the race. Oh, I think we'll be going in earlier than that unfortunately. Fuel is looking like my calculations are correct. I mean, the weird thing is I haven't gotten any clean laps. I honestly can't say where my pace is. We got Borhe coming up. I was hoping to have a shot at the top 10 here today. And that has pretty much gone the wayside, I think. It is Kyle Almy. Shit does happen. See how much faster I can be, though, with the, how, how that gap closed. How that delta closed. Bori's running 49s. That is... Not what I want to see because that means we have to get past him ASAP. I cannot get caught up behind him for like a lap, even. D is also bugging me a little bit. I've actually timed out how long I can do the, uh, how long it takes the DBS to kick in. Generally, it's a little over an hour for the record. The gap to Caster behind is increasing. It's now 2.9 seconds. Oh, left side. I really don't left. want to force this into a three wide. Car right. Play right. Or he is very slow right out of there. Side. Still there. Clear right. Come on, Juan. I'm getting through. Left side. You're fighting Hold kind your of out. You're fighting kind of out of over nothing. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh. Car right. Come on. Clear right. And the inside. Oh, lost almost three seconds. Wow. I mean, it was, it was perfectly his right to fight for that, but I thought, I think he fought when it was lost. I think we, I think we both just lost ground fighting through the, the big, the big curb. I don't know the names of the turns around here. I know them like horrifyingly from stewarding because there's a lot of shit that happens here. The gap in front is now 3.2 seconds. We're in semi-free air right now. If I can put up 43s, then I'm willing to go my usual length. But if it's 44s, 
maybe like really low 44s I could also get behind but if it's uh if it's like mid 44s high 44s we're pitting pretty or I'm pitting pretty much as soon as we we have a window that would signify that the the combination of damage and um, tire uh, problems is okay, Michael. actually fuel. slowing me down. Hemi and Taylor up ahead. I think the traffic will ease up now. We've kind of gotten, we've gotten through the, we've gotten through the slow pokes. Not that they're all, not that they're bad drivers, but they're the they're the guys that aren't aren't capable of matching my pace. The guys ahead of me are. I mean, I think I'm a little faster than specifically Hemian, who I don't think was quite on the pace. I also think that Bentley is probably not the best car around here. But like Taylor was a rival Northrup, I think out qualified me. Or out practiced me, I don't remember which. Either way, I don't think I'm gonna roll up on them and open fire, sort of thing. We ain't gonna get no drive-by shooting. And the DBS starts to kick in. Bit of a rough run through there. That was driver error. Like, the damage is not doing anything, like, huge or anything. But, time was 144. I would have, I would have been hoping for 40, I would have been hoping for 43, like, 7, 43, 6 as a pace marker. That I could have done. And, uh, it's not happening right now. You can see the, the the pressures on the tires are all terrible. All right, pit stop mandatory open. All right, Michael, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. We're down to 30 degrees. Probably you'll finish your 20. You're gaining nine, this guy. 28. Gaps now. 2.0 seconds. Not sure if I'll pit this lap but it will be soon <sighs> problem is I also don't want to drop back into the bronze battle with CNCO and Brock and Borhe Because if I have to overtake them again, it's going to completely ruin it. So that's an argument for stay out. Wait for some of them to pit. Because they surely have damage, right? All right? Taylor's in. I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be too early. The 18. I need to see. Okay, a bunch of the, a bunch of the AMs are in. Okay, we can we can pit without having to worry about them too much. Caster's still out. Waz is still out. Whoever's behind Waz is also out. Do I go to halfway? Maybe. Always helps with calculating fuel. I mean, about five seconds up. Robert Arzumi in ahead of him. 
Also, my pedals are sliding around on me. Which has me a little worried. I do actually have another webcam now. I could set up a webcam down by my pedals. If I could find something to to mount it to. <laughs> What is Northrup going to do? Because I kind of want to do the opposite of him. Okay, Hemian's in. I want to overcut Hemian. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do it about the same pace as Northrup, who is my primary competition. Watch as I do my pit and instantly, oh, drive through Ruben Cienzio. He's not on comms. So no need to shout it out on Discord. Hopefully he sees it. The tires are still not great. The leader, Higgs, is pitting. Burke is pitting from P2. Looks like he'll come out just in front of you. The gap in front is now 2.4. Higgs and Burke in from the lead. I'm up to 14th, but there's, of course, a pit stop that makes that completely irrelevant. Not too far away from blue flag territories with some people, so I'm going to pit this lap. Watch your speed limit in the pits. When we leave the pits, we think we'll be in P22 behind Martinez. Dropping the pressures down. That's 20 minutes to go. Fixing the... Okay, Michael, half distance. Should be about five minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, shit. Say it did it did catch me, okay. I didn't see the turn off engine sign when I turned the engine off. I was very nervous. So this is obviously gonna lose me out some time because I'm repairing some damage. There may be some people around me who are repairing less to no damage. Who knows? Ruben C and Co did his drive through, but his his race is gonna be a little bit now. worse now. Uh what was I? It was like twenty third, I think. Beforehand. There goes Northrup. So I'll be more behind him. He may not have had a may not have had anything. Paul Rick Benny, Dan French in the pits. That'll hand the lead to Guillermo Martinez. Martinez in front is pitting. Casta behind is pitting now. Here we go. Let's get out here. So it did move up a little bit. Car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Blue flag. Turcotte moves into the lead. He still has to pit. So I did jump Cliff Hemian by the looks of it. That's good, because I was kind of worried about getting held up by him. Came out behind Northrup by a pretty good amount. As well as our Zoomian. I'll have to make up ground. Right now I'll have to worry about Hemian, because his tires are up to pressure. Mine are not. The typical undercut advantage. And the overcut doesn't really bring any tire life advantage because in a 40 minute race with a pit stop, we're not really talking about uh, tire advantages in terms of like, you know, lifespan. Even if you were pit right when the window opens at 15 minutes into the race, your tires will be fine at the end of the race, so. The only advantage I might have 
is if I'm right where we're going to end up uh, temperature wise. If we're going to get down to 29 degrees or so. Oh, and where he thinks now. it's going for. Well, back on the lead lap I go at least. Alright. Well. We got the advantage in the pits. Now let's see if we can do it again. 22nd place. Turcotte qualified way back, so it's interesting to see him up at the front. Right side. Uh. Still there. Hemi and right. very. Well done, mate. That was great. Slow Higgs through that first turn. Now in the lead. Higgs returning to the lead. Or he was battling with Burke, so I don't know. I think he was in the lead before the pit stops. Not sure if anyone's ahead of me, still the pit, or if this is my effective position. Dropped way behind Northrup, unfortunately. So, might be a bit of a boring race here for the remainder. Tires still not quite up to window on well, anywhere really. Backs are close. One back is in the window. Get a yellow flag out. Car 55 off the track apparently. Oh, that was scary. That was a poopy pants moment. Of course, it depends. If Hemian stays with me, we'll have that for entertainment. What's the lap time? 45.5. P20. Terribly surprising. There was an overtake at turn one. That probably cost time. And as you can see from the Delta. Oh, Jesus. Cost me over a second. Alright, so otherwise, okay, that was Michael, not... Minutes that was not a bad lap, minutes. otherwise, considering that the... Considering I wasn't too, um, I wasn't in the window on tires. I still am not, which I'm very puzzled by. Foster off the track. Oh, it's Larry. Car 55 is Larry. That is a shame. White flag, mate. Flag our zoom in. That's the second incident I think he's had. So he might be damaged. He's certainly behaving like it. Shooting up some sparks. Looks like he is actually fighting it out with Hemian, though. I think he's in the pits. See in the pits. It's 44 1. A bit of a weak third sector. Got some blue flags ahead of me. Northrup's lost a second and a half to me, but I suspect that's from clearing the blues of the Tango Aston Martins. 19th place is not terrible. Byron's distracting me! Yellow flag, watch out. Yellow flag up ahead. It's probably one of the blue flag cars off. Oh, it's Larry. Never mind, he's still there. Okay. That's kind of annoying, because that means that we're basically going to have a blue flag in Sector 2 until his car is gone, and my pressures are still dog shit. What is going on here? 
How much... Have we lost a bunch of temperature? No. I just must have taken too much air out of them. Or... Conspiracy theory. The reason the pressures were so high was because of the damage. There was something about my suspension maybe affecting how the tires were handling heat or high handling pressure. B19. Hemian's keeping up. He's only about two tenths slower. So. Danger be from behind for you guys. Hicks is leading the race. Am I still catching uh, Northrop? At eh, less than a second a lap. Stop go penalty for car 69. Can't uh, honestly say I know who that is. I'm suspecting it's Robert Arzumian. Because he was in the pit lane. Either way, I don't think it helps me because... I think that was a pit stop violation, and if you're pitting now, you're pitting outside the window. You're probably already behind me. So regardless if it's our zoom in or not, probably not helpful. Flat car of Juan Borhe. How is that not uh, a yellow flag, by the way? I don't understand. P19. So there's not really anyone in front of me to catch, unfortunately. Like, I'm catching... All right, Michael. Come on. Stay focused. I'm catching Apex Northrop at a couple Apex of tenths a lap. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. But he's way too far ahead. Also catching Howl. But, again, too far ahead. So, any improvement will come from a... Will come from a... Uh, mistake or mishap. From someone ahead. So, I don't know. Try to drive some pressure into these damn tires. Because they are... They're getting there? The lefts are not too bad. I, I would take that, but the rights are still too low. Sixty-nine, indeed, was Robert Arzumian, and I was looking at that instead of focusing on my lap, and probably lost about a tenth. <laughs> e nineteen. Again, closing in, maybe a half second a lap on Northrup, but that's uh, that's not good enough. <laughs> White flag. That's Guillermo Taylor, who is lapped. Put up some good lap times, at least. Trying to hang on to the slim hopes of a ESR gold rating soon. Don't get me wrong. 
I'd like to do it in a season where I'm in battling for a silver title, but... God damn it, Byron! Problem is, is I don't want to mute Discord um, stuff because PMs coming in during the race can be from racers who I, you know, need to help with stuff or answer questions. Not during the race, mind you, but during practice, more than happy. Qualifying, a little less than happy. <laughs> Doing some pretty borderline qualifying laps now. That's nice. Higgs is now in the lead. But, uh... I don't know if this... Oh, I don't know if this could have gone any better after the first lap, to be honest. <laughs> Getting used as a ping-pong ball, and then... On top of that, uh, we had the... The, pits, the bad pit stop. The, uh... The goddamn steam overlay. <laughs> Which I need to just... I need to just disable that. I don't know. I don't know why I still have it up. I don't want to use it on this computer. There are computers I want to use it on. There are games that I want it... Ten minutes of fuel remaining. ...available. My next adventure is going to be what role I play in Burke v. Higgs. <laughs> Two of the championship protagonists. Higgs a dominant run in Laguna Seca. Okay, Michael, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Sector two is 6.5 seconds. Not a very off good the lap base. there. Uh, still closing on Northrup, but the chance of actually catching him is uh, not really on the cards. We're looking at what? Three laps to go, maybe? Aston Martin's got some sparks coming up. Also, I think the temperature has changed. My tires are a little bit less grippy. Yep, yeah, no. That was just me screwing up because I was fucking around with the MFD. Leaders in front of me. Um, somehow Taylor has ended up a lap down to Arzumian. That's weird, given that Arzumian had a stop-go penalty. So, I mean, those two are silver rivals, and they're having a really bad day, although they actually won't score much less than me, because I'm I'm only in 19th place.
Still gaining ground on Hal and Northrup, but still doesn't really matter. Blue flag coming up. Higgs and Burke. I did not mean to fuck that up. Inside. On your right. Clear right. Go, Burke. But that will do. Take a fuck up into getting out of the way. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. I ain't even entirely sure what I did wrong there. <laughs> Just had no grip through the S's. Well, I had a pretty exciting first stint making my way through. But from the pit stop onwards, sure, had a little bit of a scuffle with Cliff Hemian. P19. But that kind of was about it. Car left, clear left. I feel like Robert Arzumian did not really have to let me through there, but... A heart attack was slightly had. It's always a little dangerous when you get taken off the lead lap because depending on who the steward is, they may not fully put any time penalties in. Because, for example, race app, let's say, purely hypothetically, that Northrop gets like 30 seconds of penalties. I don't think he will. Northrop's a good driver. I'm just saying. He's the guy ahead of me. If he gets like 30 seconds of penalties, it's still going to put him ahead of me, even though I'm, you know well within that that's five minutes of fuel left i think anyways <laughs> i don't know now because i've had a couple of bad laps also forgot to open the window to let air in wow i have just fucked everything up today made a small mistake when setting up the server that led to our qualifying being darker than it was supposed to be anyways to the finish line matt higgs Makes it two for two. Burke second. P19. I okay, am provisionally over. 19th. And we'll do the we'll do the final tour here of I'd say I was gonna say victory tour, but uh, not a ton to not a ton to victorize today. Um, I think it was a decent comeback drive. I, I think I I think I made what could be made out of it. Even if um even if the end result is definitely not going to be um what I desired. Not getting the not getting the finish line behind some people, but okay. Whatever. We'll see where everyone panned out. Our Zoomian lost twenty fifth apparently to Andreas. Um uh, or people are just leaving. This is more likely the case. People are quitting. So we're not going to get an accurate results uh, picture, I don't think. Anyways, into the pits I go. Watch your speed. There we go. Oh, there we go. We are going to get a semi-accurate picture. Uh, Rick Martell and David James had a decent day. My teammates there. So that's good. I almost got screwed. Um, there. I saw it. I I 
genuinely think that's worth a report, but yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like there might have been some blue flag I, uh, problems. Dude, I don't... I was 100% all out the whole time. So Higgs, Burke, Murrah, well, Rick Benny got fourth, good. Race. Wentworth, yeah, Keckley, like Tobin, <laughs> French. Tobin, you're not even like half a, not Martinez, even like I got fifth in silver, it's not terrible. Because my oh. fastest lap was like a six, I mean, seven, six, and yours was a six, one, lost seven. Foster, Caster, and Borhe. Drink crazy. And Taylor had a. No, I, you, ah, Taylor and Masuda had a really bad days. A, a little more. Zoom too. Well, I bumped up one for the second half, but I I bumped a wall coming into the we'll pits. Let you listen to all the and then Discord chat. Just never made a mistake. I mean, I was flat out without you screwing up. There was no way. I was gonna get past. You were on a tear there, Hafro. Automatically saved replays. Call on me. We're just. Oh, I'm just gonna geez. look at the first turn, basically. The VR has started fogging up with like. Because the rest of the race was fairly clean. To go. Good read, nothing. See Thought nothing. the only thing was um, Borhe yeah, making I me <laughs> go a little dangerous. I think. You said your glasses were fogging up. No, yeah, my VR headset. There we go. Uh... So, yeah, much bad formation yeah, lap by me. There. I got First dropped a little ever bit behind. In a race. Here we go. Here we go. I think I get. I think I get uh, back to sure. where I should be though. Right up on Tobin's butt. I'd say congrats to Tobin for getting a seventh place. Let's see here. I got twenty fourth. I'm happy with that. Eh, you didn't, I thought I qualified you didn't higher than fifteenth. No, uh, but I was way off my oh. pace from practice and qualifying. I just and then couldn't Taylor fast. and then uh, possibly tire pressures maybe because I was about half second off my. You know, best time that's not cool. The second half. Not sure who that was, but that was not cool. Uh, terrible. Tire pressures about like they're all at like twenty-seven point eight. Who is that? So right at the top, and that's who I is don't that? Know why. I'm throwing the I blame because it was at night or this. The track, some, maybe something to do with the track and night just caused to Ruben C and C -O. more sensitive to tire pressure change. He's hit me before. Yeah, he was joking about how he wasn't going to hit me again. To, and I even took a failure <laughs> before my pit stop. Anyways, that is the race. Um, not a great result, but a, a perfectly fine drive, I think. And Kyle Almi can be a disaster. So, I don't know. It's not the end of the world. Top five silver is not bad. Uh, but Emily should be a little better. Anyways, hope you enjoyed.